In this video, I will show you how to set up DNS filter. So in this DNS filter setup tutorial, you will learn exactly how you can get started using DNS filter to basically block threads on your website. So you can see they block 9 million threads daily. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can get started using this for free and how you can set this up for your own website. So here is everything it does. So public Wi-Fi DNS threat protection for the bring your own device. So for example, they help protect your public Wi-Fi. They have remote protection, malicious domain protection. So for example, they will make sure that you don't get thousands of bots onto your website, then anycast network, DNS filtering, insights reporting, app aware and universal lists. So now I'll show you how you can set this up on your website. So in order to get started, just head over to dnsfilter.com and click on start free trial. Now from here, what you want to go ahead and do is enter your first and last name, your email, your job title, your phone number and your headquarters country. Then go ahead and click start free trial and then next up gonna set your password and then click on sign up so then it will say welcome to dns filter let's let's finish setting up your account by answering a few questions so you want to go and click get started so here they are going to customize it for you so you want to make sure to answer all of this correctly so first what type of network would you like to protect enterprise small or medium business managed service provider internet service provider a home education non-profit or government now for example if i go with small or medium-sized business and they will ask what's the name of your organization so then go and click submit now how many users are you protecting i'll go with one to 100 and then is there anything special you would like to tell us about your use case so for example i have been hacked before i have had an attack before whatever you want to enter but you can also just go and click complete account setup if you don't have anything to mention right there so then it will say congratulations you have finished setting up your account the next step is to set up protection which is of course exactly what we want to do so now if you click guided tour you will then get a tour so first you can set up your first location so here when you click deployments sites right here and basically here we are going to connect our site so i'm just going to close this guide and now here you will see your first network now if you click on this you can actually name it whatever you want then here enter an address that you want to protect so this can be a home address a business address whatever then you can select a policy so you can select no policy or your first policy you can enter a blog page then you can choose to disable roaming clients for conflicting VPN agents so you can read exactly what that entails right here and then here you simply want to go and enter your IP or DNS host names so if you're not sure how to find this for your specific hosting software just click on the information icon and then click dynamic DNS article there you will actually find it and then you can go and enter that right here now here you have an external ID here I can just enter a name and you can see that can be used for integration with external services so just enter that name right there and then once you click on update you will actually have this site set up and now what you can do here in policies is the policy that we just went over was called your first policy so if you click your first policy here you can actually click on categories and then you can choose exactly what you would like to block in this policy for example adult content alcohol and tobacco blogs and personal sites dating and personals government humor or any of these other ones you can simply go ahead and block it by just clicking on it right here and then in this policy that will then be blocked then here in safe search you can go ahead and block all search engines not supporting safe search you can enforce google safe search bing safe search DuckDuckGo, and yandex safe search and you can also enforce youtube restricted mode then in the threat section right here you can block everything you see here such as botnet crypto mining malware new domains etc so for example if you block crypto mining then people will not be able to mine crypto in your public wi-fi because that will cost a lot of power resources for you and that's not great for you of course then here in app aware this is a premium feature and it is available in your free trial but you can choose exactly what you would like to block for example in messaging you can block discord messenger or any of these other ones even tiktok for example and then people will not be able to access that when they are using your wi-fi then in the allow list you can add domains that you want to allow in the block list you can add domains you would like to block and then here you have advanced and this feature allows multiple policies to be enforced within a single network so you can set that up as well then here in deployments this is where we already went over so your first network you can also add more networks right here so enter a name for this network then you can either do an address or latitude and longitude so basically the coordinates right here they can select a policy for this address or 
coordinate and then basically for example in this one then now for example TikTok will be blocked and people will not be able to mine crypto and stuff like that. Now you can also add it to your website or even to a government website in order to protect that website so you could block for example visits from other countries for a government website or do anything like that in order to make it safer. Then you have your roaming clients so right here you can install a roaming client so the DNS filter roaming client is a lightweight endpoint which allows for per device reporting and filtering. So you can set that up for Mac, iPhone, Windows, Android, Chrome, whatever you want. Then here you can select an associated site to set it up for. And then here you have the site secret key that you want to go and copy and save somewhere. And then you can also set this up. And then basically per client, you will see if it is protected or unprotected. Then here in the collections, you can create a collection to provide a simple method to group your users. And here you have your actual users. You have syncing tools, so you can install those right here. So DNS filter sync tools provide a simple method to synchronize directory resources. You have relays, so here you can check out what a relay does and how to install it. It's pretty simple. Then in reporting, you will basically see how much they have blocked. You will see the threats and you'll see the total amount of requests on this domain or on this public Wi-Fi, wherever you are using this. So you can see the top requests, the total, the data explorer. You can check all of it out right here. Then in organization, you will see your profile and you can actually add in your users right here. So if you click add user, you can just add their first and last name email and role and then you will be able to invite them as well and in billing you can of course set up your billing so it's pretty cheap for example for an enterprise it's two dollars and seventy cents per user per month with a minimum of one hundred dollars per month for education it's four dollars per user per year with a minimum of five hundred dollars per year so it really depends on how many users you want to use this for for example if you have a thousand users for an enterprise then it will be about two thousand seven hundred dollars per month but in order to actually make sure you don't get hacked and to basically protect your business your wi-fi your website then i think it's probably worth it so basically in order to set it up just go to dnsfilter.com create your account and first go into the policies right here set up your policies so select what you want to allow what you want to not allow and then here in deployments just deploy that specific policy onto your website and connect it by adding your ips or dns host name right here and you can find exactly how to do that right there now i cannot go over that because it depends on which hosting website you use. So now you know how to set up DNS filter. If this DNS filter setup tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.